In this video, the Center for E-Learning, Didactics, and Educational Research at the University of Veterinary Medicine Hanover will present how to withdraw blood samples in horses. Shown is just one of the correct methods to perform this skill. Needed for the skill lab exercise are a needle disposal container, disinfectant, a tube holder, a blood withdrawal cannula, 20G yellow, and the corresponding blood collection tube as a vacuum system, gauze swabs as well as disposable gloves. In the living patient, a clipper may be necessary. The jugular vein is usually punctured on the horse's neck in the jugular groove. Other possibilities include the puncturing of the superficial thoracic vein, the antebrachial cephalic vein, and the lateral saphenous vein in foals. The blood withdrawal should cause as little stress as possible for the animal, as stress can affect the blood results. Blood tubes with the anticoagulant agent ETDA are used in hematological examinations. In comparison, serum in sample tubes without any anticoagulant or plasma in sample tubes mixed with heparin are used in chemical evaluations of blood. First of all, all the necessary materials are prepared. The gray cap is removed from the cannula and the cannula is screwed onto the tube holder. The required blood sample tube is kept ready. The horse's head is fixed into position by an assistant. This step isn't carried out on the simulator. Next, the jugular vein is found. The transition from the proximal to middle third of the neck serves as an orientation for the puncture site. A venous status test is performed to analyze whether the vein is accumulating and draining blood well. The contralateral vein should also be checked. This is not shown in this video. The puncture site is now disinfected with a swab soaked in disinfectant. The person carrying out the exercise stands on the left side of the horse. Right-handed people should use their left thumb to congest the vein towards the heart. The right hand inserts the cannula into the congested vein at a 45 degree angle to the vein in direction of the head. The bevel of the cannula points away from the animal. If the vein has been punctured, no blood will be seen in the vacuum system. The hand holding the cannula should always stay in contact with the animal. The cannula is inserted parallel to the vein up to the cone. Now the left hand takes over the tube holder with the cannula, the thumb and index finger hold it in place until the end of the blood sample withdrawal. If necessary, the remaining fingers of the left hand can be used to further congest the vein underneath the cannula. The right hand now connects the prepared collection tube. If the vacuum in the collection tube is intact, the negative pressure will draw blood into the collection tube. After the blood has drawn, the blood sample tube is pulled out of the tube holder. The tube should be tilted gently so that the blood and the contents of the tube mix. It is important not to shake it. Now the vein is congested far enough above the puncture site in the direction of the head without pressing the cannula tip into the vein wall. This prevents the formation of any future hematomas. The cannula is withdrawn from the vein. After releasing the congestion, one should keep an eye out for any secondary bleeding. The yellow cap is now carefully placed back on the cannula and unscrewed from the tube holder. The cannula is disposed of in the designated container. The blood sample tube is clearly labeled.